Hi again, I'm Sebastian, naturopath and biochemist. Remember, flattening the curve was actually achieved mainly by physical distancing. Continuing this physical distancing will be our ticket to exit the lockdown. Why is it so important? Physical distancing is clearly limiting the spread of disease. And therefore, you need at least one to two, if not two meters of distance to other people. Looking back, how the countries have achieved to flatten the curve, it was mainly by avoiding gatherings like sports events, concerts, theater, cinema, and going to bars and restaurants. There's only one public place where there's many people still gathering and this is a supermarket and the supermarket is actually the most important place where you can catch coronavirus and therefore we all need to apply hygiene measures in order to make sure the virus is not spread and we can maintain to keep the curve flat. Another important thing to flatten the curve was obviously staying at home and I think we should also still continue doing that. That doesn't mean that you cannot go for a walk but please keep in mind, you know, stay at home and don't do parties with many people or something. I know it's hard because the cultural aspects of lockdown and physical distancing are obvious. There are so many things we can't do anymore and Usually being in group also means fun and joy. This is something that plays a tremendous role also in my life because uh, I'm living in Spain and it's normal that you go to the bar or the restaurant, you're going to have a coffee, you go to speak to people and so on. And all this is not happening anymore. And this clearly plays on our social health, but also on our psychological health. I will come to this in a different video. Keep in mind that physical distance means social solidarity. We all need to stick to the measures in order to keep the curve flat. All of us, this, this involves you and me and us staying proactive, doing the hygiene measures. One thing is, I mean, obviously, if you're sick, you don't go out of the house. If you don't feel good, if you're sneezing, if you're coughing, you are not leaving the house. However, we all sneeze sometimes and that can also happen in the public when we are out in the supermarket. Avoiding coughing or sneezing in the public is not always possible. So when you really have to sneeze or cough, please do it into your upper arm or into the flex elbow like this. <coughs> like this. And then make sure it's going down and it's not like spreading everywhere like with the coughing as well. <coughs> but the thing is a cuff you can like you know you can really avoid and I think that's like you don't want other people to cuff or sneeze at you so you just do the same um, gotta keep in mind we will be all wearing masks this year even if you're wearing a mask you have someone in front of you you know just like you turn to the side or even turn entirely but just don't make sure you're not like sneezing or coughing into someone's face there's another possibility but therefore you need to be prepared really you could use a disposable handkerchief which you have in your pocket and then you just take it out and <coughs> do this you know um, <coughs> you know and try to go down you know not like too much up that you're not producing like a huge cloud of aerosol a word on reusable textile handkerchief, I think this is not recommended. Um, my grandfather was always doing it. I found it already disgusting when I was five years old. And I think now it's very clear if it comes to the spread of coronavirus, textile handkerchiefs are an absolute no-go. However, if you really need to use them or you have your grandparents and you cannot convince them, make sure they are washed at 60 degrees. Physical distancing is important also in terms of keeping the curve flat and this will be the ticket. The ticket 
to exit the lockdown.